Hey GCG crew, make sure you stick around to the end of today's episode to see our sweepstakes winners announced and find out how you can win too. It's time for Extreme Golf Cart Makeover right now on GCG TV. Welcome to Extreme Golf Cart Makeover. Alexa, what are we working on today? We're putting a 3-inch lift kit and 22-inch tires on a Yamaha G29. But we should probably wait for a professional. <laughs> Alexa, that could turn into a pretty long video. I'll take care of the jokes. Get back to work. Well, you're going to fit right in around here. <laughs> While we wait. Don't forget to check out the Extreme Golf Cart Makeover page at the address on your screen to follow the series and enter to win awesome prizes in our sweepstakes. But we've got a lot of work to get to as we get our Yamaha G29 ready for a complete custom remodel. We need to get the body removed, but we decided first to lift the cart so that we can check out the resulting height difference and get a test drive for alignment and speed increase. The G29 model line sits a bit higher than most carts factory stock and does not come equipped with leaf springs, so we decided to try a 3-inch lift kit and 22-inch tires for a nice height increase without sacrificing stability. I'll admit, no one called in the Mythbusters with a radar speed gun. We just used a smartphone app for a speedometer but we did find that this increased our speed from a golf course governed 8 or 9 miles an hour up to about 16, a pretty substantial jump. For the height increase, the formula we've always seen is to take the current cart height and add the height of the lift kit plus half the tire height increase with a tolerance of half an inch or so. We've upgraded from 18 inch tires to 22s, so we expected growth of five inches total. Our first measurement showed a cart height of 69 and three quarter inches. Once our lift was complete, we got a measurement of 75 and one quarter inch tall, which, if you're better at doing math in your head than I am, comes out to a five and a half inch height increase, just barely within the tolerance of the equation we researched. Hopefully this gives you some insight into the speed and height increases you might expect if you're considering a similar project. Also, consider some seat belts, and remember, lift once, measure twice. You don't want to get that cart stuck in or out of the garage. So now that our G29 is walking tall in new shoes and we got to record all the nerdy stats we could get our hands on, next we'll remove the roof, windshield, seats, body, and get it ready to show its new true colors. Make sure to stop by golfcartgarage.com or give us a call if we can help with your project. Or check out the Extreme Golf Cart Makeover page at the address on your screen to enter the sweepstakes. Remember to subscribe to our channel right here for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCG TV. Hey, you're still here. You know, we had so many people sign up for the sweepstakes at the address on your screen that we decided as a kickoff special to announce six monthly winners in today's episode instead of three. So here are the lucky winners taking home Golf Cart Garage store credit this month. Third prizes go to Cornelius C. from New Jersey who won $50 for his Yamaha and John P. from Illinois who won $50 for his club car. Second prizes go to Timothy F. from Wisconsin who won $100 for his club car and Travis G. from Louisiana who won $100 for his club car. And congratulations to our first prize winners. Ryan H. from Oklahoma won $200 for his club car DS and Greg M. from Springfield Moss won $200 to make his Yamaha Golf Cart wicked cool. Make sure to bookmark that, sorry. Make sure to bookmark that page, follow along to the series, sign up for the monthly sweepstakes, or enter to win the $3,000 grand prize in the Extreme Golf Cart Makeover Sweepstakes. Entry is quick and easy, which coincidentally was my nickname in college. We'll see you next time. Congratulations to our winners from all your friends at Golf Cart Garage.